Hi guys, welcome. My name's Amber and I'm here uh, from Ultimate Body Pilates to do a Pilates class tonight on behalf of the Together uh, campaign from KZN. So, um, you are going to need a few things. It's a beginner level class, a little bit different to what I normally do, but a fantastic learning class. So, if you can grab a bag of rice, if you have it, a lemon, and some hand weights, and a little towel, depending on your neck, because we're gonna work with neck alignment. And then we'll get started. I'm just gonna top my water up, just wait one more minute, and then we'll start. Um, so tonight, just to talk you through it, we are going to learn the ABCs of Pilates. A is activate, don't aggravate. B is breathe, uh, don't bulge. And the C is your connection rather than collapsing. Okay, so it's quite an educational, foundational level, but so important for all of us um, to get these pre-Pilates um, understanding first. Okay, so I hope you enjoy. Any questions or anything, just let me know. Okay, great. I think we're going to get straight into it. So we're going to come down lying onto our backs. You've got your bag of rice or your hand weights and your lemon. Okay, we're just going to start with breathing. Learn to breathe correctly in the body. So you're lying down flat. You've got your bag of rice on your lower tummy and your lemon under your chin. Okay, and you're going to place one hand at the back of your neck. In Pilates, a lot of the times we store a lot of tension in your neck. Okay, and you've got to be aware of this and so make sure the back of the neck is tension free. So just give it a little bit of a rub there and take a deep breath in and let everything in your body expand up. No movement and as you exhale, I want you to sink the sandbag, we call it, or the rice bag, down without tilting your pelvis. So I haven't aggravated, I haven't tucked and clenched in my hips or lost my lemon. I've stayed still and I'm just sinking. So we're going to do that a few times. Take a deep breath in. Everything rises and as we exhale, you're sinking more and more and more. And then you're going to try and hold that sinking feeling. Okay, and think about the little rice. You're pulling up a little rice granule inside you, scooping, lifting and holding it. And then you gently release it. And there's still no change in the back of your neck. So we're holding onto the back of the neck. No change here, no aggravation. Once more, take a deep breath in. Rise, feel your rib cage expand. And as you exhale, sink the rice bag. Now start to wrap your thighs as well. That really helps with your imprinting without the tucking. And keep working on your breath. It really is the most important element of Pilates to get that deeper connection, softening your body down, exhaling it all out, and then relax. So now all I want you to do is with your eyes, you're going to look behind you and then forward. So we're starting to move on the axis of the skull, okay? So you're trying to not lose your lemon, but start to learn to move your head correctly without storing tension in the back of the neck and keeping the back of the neck nice and long. So you're moving your eyes across the ceiling. And then come to a neutral position, halfway into those two spots. Now we're going to open our right leg to the side. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Sink the sandbag. Nothing changes in the body for most of the class. You're staying really connected and still. Sink your chest plate down. Sink your lemon down so the back of your throat is coming down. Re-engage. Exhale. Sinking. Closing the leg. Hip bones are really heavy into the floor. Again, deep breath in, and we're opening. Exhaling, sinking the sandbag, holding that exhalation, and then gently closing together. 
keeping connected. Now we're going to open both legs at the same time. Don't go off your tracks, hips are heavy. Can you seek your sandbag first? Keeping your connection to your lemon. Exhale, sink first. Really start to strengthen your deeper abdominal wall. It takes them a while to wake up. And then take a deep breath in. No tension in your back of your neck. You're always checking that, that you're not storing the tension there. Face relax and exhale again to close. Sink not only your sandbag, but your lemon in the throat and your chest. One more time with double legs. Deep breath in. Exhale, sinking. Sandbag, sinking your lemon. Opening up. Really trying to keep a nice imprint as much as possible on your body. If your neck kind of lurches up like this, it's always a nice idea to prop that towel under your head so that your cervical spine is in line. Okay, or you can just hold your head up and close your legs together as you exhale. Nice, now we're going to move into leg floats. So your right knee is going to elevate, lift up to the ceiling. Now we've got to activate again. So we never bulge, remember? We draw the tummy down, we activate. Exhale. It comes from your tummy. If my tummy moves up into the rise, I've gone too far. Check the back of your neck, keep your hand there. The neck position should not change. Again, exhale, sinking, chest, sinking, lemon, sinking the back. So everyone's range of motion is different, but if you're doing arching, opening, this type of thing, lemon rolling around, take it slower and get retrain your body to connect with less momentum and connecting deeper in the right parts. Can we change legs now? So you bring your left leg up, maybe take your right hand behind the back of your neck, deep breath in, sink the lemon, sink the sandbag and exhale. Find that wrap of the thighs. Your glute is active. Can you keep that belly down? You only go as far down as the belly doesn't bulge. So use the breath to help you. Exhale. Draw down deeper, deeper. No tension in the back of your neck. Keep your face nice and soft. One more time. Exhale, really deepening that connection. your feet back down. Still have the lemon, but if you've got your hand weights now, I want you to get your hand weights ready. If you don't, water bottles are a good option here. Actually, before we do that, let's do some pelvic tilts, nice and small, with all our little props still here. Rock your tailbone back so you come to a deep imprint. That's the tucking, that's what we call tucking when you're completely flat, and then release. But what is it doing to your neck? Pay attention, bring your hand behind there. So if you're rocking and your neck is moving, you're making too much of a movement. Stay still in your neck so it's a deeper feeling. So you can't really see what I'm doing, but you can feel it. No change in the neck. Roll back, tilt the pelvis back to posterior tilted, and then come back anteriorly, all the way forward, natural position, and again. Small tilt. Check your neck, no tension. Throat is deep. One more time. And then we're going to come back, pick our hand weights up. Try not to lose your lemon. Stretch your arms up to the ceiling. Drop your shoulder blades down. Start with bent elbows down, actually, so you can really feel the width across your back, feel the heaviness there. And again, there's no arching or popping. Taking a deep breath in, you exhale, you stretch the arms up, nice and straight. Feel that heaviness. All we're going to do is open the arms to the side, keeping our bodies connected. Slight bend in the elbows. Be aware your rib cage isn't popping here. You've really got to focus to draw it down. Exhale, draw it down more. Sink the sandbag. And close. So you feel really strong and connected, no gripping. Again, open the arms out, connecting them into the back of your spine. 
Breathe in, expand, and then exhale. Let's draw it down. Sandbag, lemon, chest, arm bones heavy, shoulders still. One more like that. Deep breath in. Expanding your ribs, opening up the body. And then exhale. Arms are going to stay straight up now. And you're going to try and lift your right leg up. And your left arm, opposite arm, goes back as you toe tap your right foot down. Only as far as you can remember without bulging. And come back. Stay on the same side. Again, exhale. Sink your throat down. Sink your tummy down. Use that breath. Dig deeper, deeper, deeper. And come back. Try not to bend at your knee joint. Okay? So you're keeping that 90 degree angle the whole time. And my arms are not going all the way back doing this arching my back. Okay? Keep your connection. Changing sides now. Lifting up your left knee. And we're going to stretch the right arm back. And coming back. Stay connected. We always have one side a bit more connected than the other. Exhale. Sink the sand back. One more time. Exhale. Deepen. All the way back. Take your hands, your feet down, I should say. Take your weights down by your side. And you're going to come up for a little uh, bridge. Actually, before we do that, let's straighten the right leg out. And we're going to do heel drags. Or, we call it tunnel rolls, sometimes we call it. Pretend you've got mud on your foot. Your right foot has mud on it. And you're dragging it in towards your bum. Okay, you're trying to drag the mud off it. Keep the mud on and push it out. So you're keeping a strong control. Once it gets out there, really work the rack of the thigh now. Okay, nothing changes in your neck and your heel dragging. So we're waking up the hamstrings now to connect properly, sinking our ribs down. Two more like that, dragging the heel in. Keeping all those things we're working on. One more time. Drag it all the way in. Now stay on your right side. The leg is really heavy. Make it as heavy as you can by wrapping your thigh, kind of tensing it up a little bit so it's really connected and strong. Reach your toes out of your hip. And you can't lift it off the floor. But suddenly you can, but it's so heavy. There's no change. Check your neck, no change in your neck. It's super heavy. It's gonna come all the way up in line with the knee. Hip bones are square. Keep it connected and you lower it down. So this eventually progresses into single leg circles, all those type of moves. But you need to have this foundation first. There's no change in these areas. Deep breath in, strong connection, lift the leg up, sink the sandbag, sink the lemon. So you're just lengthening the back of the neck. If the lemon starts to annoy you, you can take it out. Stretch your toes out of your hips. How strong and connected. Can you make your leg there? Okay, so it's going all the way up. So I just move back into the frame, so you can see. And all the way down. Good, keep going with that. One more. I'm going to check everything's okay here. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. And then we're going to change sides. So we're going to start with those heel drags on the left. You're dragging that heel, getting that mud in. And then you Push it back out, strong and connected. So it's really nice to do this if you've got your towel close by. Drag the towel in. And you feel that hamstring connection. Always have the back of your hand, one hand at the back of your knee. Always just checking in that there's no tension here. One more time. Heel dragging it in. Extending it out strong. Wrap that thigh around you. Really connected, so heavy. Wrap, wrap, wrap. Sink the sandbag, sink the throat, and then lift the leg up. Just in line with the other leg. It should almost be shaking. You're trying to activate it so much. And then you lower it. Stand strong in your other foot. Sinking the sandbag, sinking the throat. No tension in your neck. 
trying to breathe. Oh, I just lost my lemon. <laughs> Coming back again. Lifting up. And then exhale, sinking. One more time, deep breath in. Lifting the leg all the way up. And then slowly sliding it down. Strong and connected. Okay, the upper body now. The most difficult part, called chest lift. Keep everything where it is. Hands behind the nape of the neck. You're going to nod your chin forward so you go nice hold on your lemon. Your forehead lifts up first. Sink the sandbag. Don't tuck. Don't be a mother tucker. Just sinking. Shh. Forehead lifts. Nose. And then your chin. So you look between your legs, but you're not pulling on your neck. Sink the sandbag more. And then roll back down. Keep the length in the back of the neck. Keep a slight tuck of the chin. Can we try that again? Drop the shoulder blades. Forehead, nose, chin comes forward. Reach the elbows forward a bit. Can you use your upper abdominals more? Use your breath. Look down lower, maybe towards your rice bag if you've got it. Keep sinking. You're not bulging, you're sinking. And then slowly press your head into your hands to come down. A couple more like that. Find that control. Exhale. Sinking the sandbag. Keeping connecting. Elbows up. Squeeze your tummy. And then soften down. One more time. Now deep breath in. Exhale. Curl, 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 curl. Hold it. And then you come down. Excellent work. We're going to come up now. Take your bits and pieces off. You're sitting up. We're going to do a little roll back series. Okay, so we're adding on. But before we do it, one hand on your lower tummy and one on your lower back. Okay, so I've got my hand. I want to think of that sinking sandbag from the front to the back. So we exhale, and you move with a straight spine, but there's no tension in your back hand, and you come straight up. So now I want you to peel that flesh out of your bum. You're sitting up as tall as you can, chest over your pelvis. Take your feet out so your um, hips aren't grabbing, and then let's pull the tummy in. Come straight back in one straight line. So you just want to focus on that as we go back. Now we're going to do a flex version. Hold on to the back of your knees. It's a bit easier. Elbows wide, relax the neck. Oh, I've lost my lemon. Where's it gone? Use your lemon now. Place your lemon under your chin as well. Stand here. Roll back. Exhale. So you're rolling back to the seat of your pants just until your arms can come straight. Scoop out your tummy more. And then roll back. Nice and tall, snake the spine up, stack it over your pelvis. Good. Let's grow taller from the crown of your head. Feel the position your back of your neck should be in. And let's roll back. Exhale. Stay tall. You've been punched in your tummy and you're scooping back all the way until you've got straight arms. Look down at your stomach in between your legs. Can you hold it there? And then roll back. Excellent. We're going to come a little bit further now. One more time. Coming back. Deep breath in. Scooping. Front to back. Staying tall. Front side of your body is long. The back side of your body is just as long. Can you hold it there? Tap your knees. Lift your arms up and down without your feet coming off the floor. So you need to flex forward in your upper spine a little bit more, maybe. Two more. Sink deep in your stomach, a little bit deeper. And then coming all the way up. Ooh, the next one's a bit of a killer, I must say. It's not one of my favorites. We're doing a counting rollback. I'm going to try and stop you at each vertebra along the way. Okay? Let's try and do it together. Deep breath in. Sit up tall. You can hold onto the knees to start. We do it with bent legs. We roll back to the seat of your pants, but your arms should be almost straight, but not quite. And then you're going to go back one inch. Another inch. Scoop deeper. 
Then you scoop deeper. Hold. Keep going. Hold. Try not to come crashing down. One more. Keep going. All the way to your shoulder blades. And then all the way to the floor. Straighten out your legs and reach your arms to the ceiling. Remember our starting position. Sinking the sandbag, the rice bag down. If you've got hand weights, it's a nice idea to use them for this one. But you don't have to. Arms are up. Bend your knees. We're going to try and come back up. Chin to chest. Exhale. Keep that lemon there. Reaching. No momentum. Control. Do a big shh sound. Shh. Slowly. One vertebra at a time. All the way up to seated. Stretch your arms in front of you. Bring your body nice and tall. Depending how heavy your weights are. Mine are um, quite heavy. You don't need them. One more time like this. Sit up nice and tall. Holding onto your lemon still. Let's roll back. Exhale. Grow taller. Whoops, I've lost mine. Grow taller. Can't look around with these lemons. Shh, scoop. Scoop. Slow it down. I know we get to those challenging parts, but we want to scoop up in that sandbag area even more in those challenging parts. We're going to do a full roll up. Now, there's a trick to roll ups. If our body has lots of gaps, I'm just over exaggerating here, it's impossible to get up. And that's why some people just can't get up because you've got to be opening there. So get a towel. Firstly, try and imprint your spine down by everything we learned. Sinking sandbag, sinking lemon, sinking chest, wrapping thighs. If you've still got a big opening, if you've got low doses like me, it's pretty tough to get flat down. But if you really wrap your thighs, you can generally do it. But if you can't, get a towel and just pat yourself up. It may be even under your legs if your hamstrings are tight. Stretch your arms up, stretch your legs, chin to chest. Hold on to that lemon, zip your thighs strong together. We're going to make that shh sound. Are you ready? Shh. Scooping, lifting, scooping. Pull back in your tummy. Reach forward. Don't lose your lemon. Arms stay in line with your knees. Uh, with your ears, not your knees. And then come back up. We're doing one more. So we've really got that nice classical strength now. Okay, sitting up really tall. Deep breath in. And you're rolling back. Scooping. Slow it down. Wrap your inner thighs more. Try to keep your feet down and still. All the way down and stretch long. Start to reach your hands overhead as long as you're not popping up in your ribs. Keep that strong connection. Okay, really wrap around your inner thighs now. Make it all tight here. Try and close the gaps. Chin to chest. Make the shush sound if you like it. Reach up high this time for the ceiling. Exhale. It's not easy with that lemon there because we like to jerk our neck. We're not allowed to do that with the lemon. Up and over. Stretch. Reach for it. Reach out of the seat of your pants. Oh, come up. Take the neck, the lemon out of the neck for a moment. Have a break. So we're going to move through a couple more um, traditional Pilates exercises now, which feel amazing for the spine. So spine stretch forward. Feet are out, uh, the distance of the mat. You're sitting up tall. You're going to peel the flesh out under your butt. Sit up nice and tall. Okay, let's get the lemon again, if we can. Now you're lengthening up from the base of your tailbone, okay? Pilates is really one of the amazing things is you get great posture, but you've got to lift up the front, lift up the back. I want you to work on that. Remember the sandbag? Like it's upright now, but it's pulling you in. That same feeling. You're going up and over, arms in line with your shoulders. Exhale. You're rounding your body forward and you're lifting up your front body. You're lifting up your back body evenly. You're trying to go taller but your head wants to go forward towards your feet and your stomach wants to pull back. Get your toes flexed up if you can. Keep going, keep going, keep going. But your hips are not allowed to move. So your hips are pulling back. 
shoulders pulling back, but your head wants to reach. And then slowly restacking your spine. Woo, we're holding on to our lemon still. Couple more times like that. Take a deep breath in. Stack your ribs over your hips. Peel out that flesh if you need to. Stand back in. Connect chin to chest. Grow taller first. Find that length from the base of the sacrum. And let's go. Exhale. Gonna go a little bit further this time if we can. Stay tall. Stay lifted. It's like someone's pulling us up and out. Hips keep pulling back. Head keeps pulling forward. It's that two directional push and pull and stretch in Pilates. Keep going. Keep going. Feels so amazing for the spine. All the way down. And then we roll back up. All the way up. Good job. Take your lemon out for a second. A little bit of sore. Okay? If you can keep the lemon there, please do, because it's so great for neck position. If it's annoying you, I won't, but I'm going to turn a bit now. Back of your hands are stuck at the back of the neck where we've been tonight. Okay? No tension. Okay? You're going to turn from the center of your chest to the right. Exhale. No change in the pelvis. Center. And to the left. Nothing moves. Exhale. So I'm not doing this type of thing. Okay? Keep still. And let's go. Exhale. So Pilates, especially when we're learning Pilates, if you want to get the real benefits, it's about the little subtle movements that then we can make into any shape. Exhale. Center. Exhale. Can you grow taller? Lengthen the back of your neck. Is there no tension there? Just do your little check here. Exhale. One more on either side. Last one. Come back to center. Well done. We're going to come back down for some bridging now. Okay? But we're doing it with the lemon because I want you to be aware of your neck placement for the bridging. So bridging is when you know what bridging is. You come up for a bridge. Okay? So you're going to sink the sandbag most importantly first. But we don't have the rice there now. Pretend you do. Tuck the chin in. Exhale, sinking. Roll that pelvis back towards you like the bag of rice is born in your tummy. And really try and scoop deeper in your tummy. And no, so no thrusting the neck back. You want to think of your knees going forward, but my glutes have to start to really engage. And I'm squeezing the inside part of my thighs so that my knees don't flop out. Arms by my side. You can use them a little bit, but not too much that you flare your ribs. And you're gradually articulating up. Knees forward. My neck has not jolted. Okay? Deep breath in. Stay here. And then roll down. Keep reaching your knees forward. We're going to add on to a really nice stretch. One of my favorites. Where you take the arms back behind you. Okay? They'll come back behind you. But don't lose your connection. It only goes as far as you can. Once again. Scoop, sink the sandbag, tilt the tailbone, and then curl up. Exhale. Keep trying to scoop that tummy, the pubic bone coming to the nose, the bum hole going up to the ceiling, the knees reaching forward, and the neck not getting involved. It's nice and relaxed. It's got a gentle connection into the lemon. And we want to get some nice hip opening now without doing that, without splaying the ribs. Keep them in together. Knit them together and try and open the front of your hips more. Can you lift your arms up? Can you float your arms back without your neck jolting, without your lemon shape changing? Focus on that. Reach your knees forward more. The further your arms go back, the more your knees have to go forward. Scoop in and up through your tummy. Connect strong. Keep them back there, whatever range you're at, and roll down slowly. Nothing has changed in your neck. Feel that nice articulation, getting that new spine. If you do bridging every day like this, it really is one of the most amazing things for your spine. So we're going to do one more. Deep breath in. Scoop here. Sink the sandbag down. No tension in your neck. Deepen that lemon in your throat and 
curl up. Stand strong in your feet, spread your toes apart. Back of the arms strong and connected. Lifting. Stretch your arms all the way along back behind you. Now we're going to bring the arms back up to the ceiling. Pretend you've got those hand weights. Drop the shoulders. Can you keep your pelvis still? So think of narrowing your hips and lift your right leg to the ceiling. So shift the weight to the left foot first without too much movement. Right leg straight up, really strong. Down. No movement in your hips. Work on that. And shift the weight to the right foot gently. Left leg straight up, strong. Feel that deep activation of your bum. Leg down, one more on either side. You're shifting the weight first, just subtly, and then you're lifting. No tension in your neck. Place one hand behind. Make sure you're not gripping in your neck. Back of your neck. And down. Last time, shift the weight to the right. Slightly. And left leg. Down. Arms back behind you without any change in your neck. Hips a little bit higher, tilting up. Roll back down. As you roll down, can you get that pubic bone up higher? Higher. Really ring out that spine. Keep going, keep going. Excellent work. Give your knees a little hug here and just do little circles. So we're going to try and go into a little bit more of momentum stuff now, ball rolls. But like we did with the roll back, we're going to do a little action like that. So you're going to roll forward and you're going to try and keep your lemon under your chin. Beginners, I want you holding the back of the legs. Okay, scooping your tummy, and then we're going to go down into hundreds, okay? Learn to do it correctly, so scoop that tummy, and get to the point where you feel, oh my goodness, I'm going to fall over, and try and stop there, okay? Stop, and can you sandbag your stomach deeper? Whew, I'm about to fall, but you're not, come on, you're stopping yourself, your stomach's your break, and then come back up. So you want to keep testing that small little range, okay? That's your deep abdominals. And that's what's really going to help you with your, the bigger movements in Pilates. Okay, so again, roll back to the seat of your pants. Keep your feet down. And then from your scoop of your tummy, it forces your feet to lift up. And then you come back an inch. Whoo, until you think you're going to roll and try and stop it. Another inch. And you can't go anymore. Then you roll. And you don't force forward. You keep that scoop. So a couple like that. Try and get to your breaking point. Up. And my neck hasn't moved, okay? So there's no tension in the neck. It should feel really nice. Massaging. Scooping. Keep going with that. Keeping it nice and simple. If you want to make it more difficult, hold on to your ankles. Tuck those feet in strong. Scoop up. Woo. Pick up the feet from your stomach. Up. Up. Two more. Last one. Oh, good job. Let's roll back for hundreds. We're going to do three sets of hundreds. Um, very beginner. And then we'll work it up. Okay? Any neck issues, keep the head down. Okay? So we're going to roll back. Deep breath in. Put the lemon back. Slowly rolling back off the seat of your pants. And you're going to make it diamond shape with your legs. Bring your head down. Arms up. This is level one. Just focus on your chin position. Everything we've worked on. Sandbag sinking. We breathe in for five. We pump the back of the arms. There's no momentum in hundreds. It's just a simple arm pump. Okay? You breathe in for five. And you exhale. You pull your tummy down for five. Again, breathing in. Think about not having elbows. You're really stiff, straight arms now. No movement in your neck, no wobble. Can you imprint in your spine more now? Really bring those knees in as much as you need to keep that stability. Last set like this. And feel with one hand that you're not getting tension automatically in the back of the neck. Come on, get rid of that. Move that tension into the tummy. Or not tension, but move the connection, I should say. And then, okay, that's the first set. Second set, let's curl forward. Take the knees away slightly. Hands by the floor, 
scooping up and over, look between that hold your legs, glue your heels together, up and down, like you're bouncing basketballs with your upper armpit, scoop that tummy deeper, squeeze the heels more, if the neck's starting to hurt, bring it back down, but try and work your upper abdominals more, more curl up, more curl up, two more, imprint down more, pull the belly, the sand back down, and relax. Last set, legs up, which is actually also a beginner level position. Vertical, straight up, but before we go anywhere, I want you to get your rice bag, place it on your lower tummy, take a deep breath in, and then sink it down. Feel that sinking, a heavier rice bag is even better, or a weight, so you've got that connection, okay, and feel that wrap there. So your lower back is not vulnerable. It's really protected. You're in a slight imprint. You're in an imprint position. If you can, chin to chest or chin to lemon. Roll your hands forward. Scoop up. Stay down. And let's go. Breathing in. Challenge now. Wrap your inner thighs more. If you can, we're lowering those legs. But look how straight and strong my legs are. Only go to the point where you feel a Strong as you can. No movement. Can you go a bit further? If you can't, I want those legs straight up or I want your head down. Can you go further? Scoop that tummy more. Further. And relax. Ooh, good job. Take the lemon out. Little side over. Just rock your knees to the right and the left, keeping your shoulder blades down. Just lifting up one hip and then the other side to sides and then we're going to take it all the way over to the right now and just take a nice stretch here look to the left and breathe try and keep your shoulder blades down and slowly coming back to center taking the legs all the way to the other side shoulder blades down Breathing, nice and gently. And coming back. So now next level we're going to move up is the beginner foundation class. We're going to come up onto our knees. Okay, so come over onto your knees with your lemon under your chin. Okay, so you're in a quadruped position. But you're not allowed to lose your lemon. So we all know what a cat and cow is. It's that movement, but it's much smaller. It's deeper. Tuck your chest down. Lift your head. You can't lift your head very much. And then you round, scooping inside of you, pressing into your hands, into your shins, into your lemon softly. Can you tuck the tailbone even more? And then gently soften the elbows, soften the chest down. Don't collapse your tummy completely though. Keep a small connection. And one more time. Oops, I just dropped my lemon. I find it's very difficult. My neck position is not the greatest. Scoop and press it into the floor. And then coming back into that little cow. Okay, neutral spine position. Tap the toes on the right. Spread your fingers and toes and push strongly along that floor. Now one hand on your lower tummy, let it hang out. Then we sandbag it up, exhale. Straighten that leg stronger. Lift up your leg without arching your back. That's all we're doing, up and down like that. Up and down, keep going. So when you're in that position, your tummy is lifted up. You're arching your back. You want to try and not have an arch in your back. You want to limit that. You want to keep the shape though the same the whole time. And just move that leg up and down. Hold it up there. Scoop the belly more. Sorry, still got your chin and your lemon. I've taken mine out. And move your left arm, opposite arm out. You're getting pulled in two directions. And then we're just going to stretch while we're here if you can. Bend that foot in, knee in line with your hips. Look over your left shoulder. Keep looking for your foot, hold onto it and stretch. Opening up your shoulder, rolling it back. Lift, pull it back. 
press and change sides. So tuck the toes up on the left, press out along your mat, pull up your tummy. Come on, scoop it up, wrap your inner thigh and just float the leg up. It's super heavy, stays heavy, tummy engaged. You lower the leg without lowering your tummy. And then you lift it. Bend your elbows, soften. If you've got your lemon, great, so the back of your neck is long. Hold the next one up here, squeeze your seat more, straighten your opposite arm out, and hold. Reach, keep getting pulled in two directions. Bend the knee in, keep the knee up. Reach around over your shoulder, reach for your foot if you can, and open up, breathing. Excellent work, come back into a little rest pose now. Sit your bum back. See if you can come into a rest pose with your lemon. So you'll know, know where your neck should be up. And just breathe down in here, relax your body down. It's a very simple, basic class, but it's so nice just to get those foundation little points and try and keep them in all the moves we do in Pilates. And then coming back, rolling back onto your heels. Little hip flexor stretch, take your right foot forward. Hands behind the back of your neck now. And we're twisting over to the side of the knee, the bent knee. Good. And now try and lean forward a little bit without arching your back. No collapse, remember, we connect, we don't colla uh, collapse. Twist, twist, twist more. Scoop up in your tummy. Scoop up, so you don't have to go very far to get a nice hip flexor stretch. The right arm goes back on that back leg, but try not to arch too much and lift the arm up and over. Keep wiggling your fingers down towards the back of your kneecap. And then change sides. Tucking your hips under. Hands behind your head, twist over the bent leg side. Keep twisting, keep twisting, and then gently move the shape, leaning forward without collapsing. One arm up, one arm back, reach back and over to the side, and just breathe and hold. And then we're going to come back into a seated position, just cross leg position to finish. You're going to take a deep breath in, you're going to lift up, feel the length you've created through the simplicity of the movement, feeling up, feeling up. And then you exhale, stay lifted. Sandbag coming in through the tummy. Oh, we should put that lemon under our neck while we're here as well, right? Under the chin, back of the neck long. Again, deep breath in. Stack your ribs over your hips and bring your hip ribs forward a little bit. And then exhale. Can you start to move your head side to side, holding onto your lemon? So reach one ear down to your shoulder and then come forward. It's like a neck roll, but you've got to hold onto your lemon. Ooh, hard to go back. We can't really go back. Just go to the other side, to the left side. Hold it on the left there. Then take the lemon out and do a full circle, nice and gently opening up, really letting your shoulders relax. Little neck circles circling up and around. And reversing. Take a deep breath in one last time, lifting all that good energy up. And exhale. Excellent work. Thank you so much for joining. If you have any questions, I think I've got a minute left, just let me know.